Okay, so, yeah, I've been working pretty hard. Did a lot of videos yesterday, did a lot of videos today. This will be the last one for the day. I need to eat, I need to take my walk. I haven't even been watching Jesse Lee Peterson, so I'll be doing that after. So I spent some time trying to research this website. And uh, first of all, the first thing you have to do, let me hide my social icons. On the bottom left corner, you'll see three tabs right after the copyright thing, and this thing doesn't work too well on uh, Brave. But the default UI is this one. Okay, so now it's actually changing. Well, either way, I had to change the default UI, which is these the buttons on the bottom. And it was just really hard to read the website. So definitely website design and user, no, specifically user interface friendliness is really bad on this website. It was really annoying. These links don't work for me for some reason, even though it has the correct URL and it goes to Spirit Swap instead of Spooky Swap. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, there's no charts, so I had to manually add these. This was a pain, a huge pain in the ass for me. And they have. Their most important part of this website, I think, is the Sin Spirit Boosted Auto Compounder. There's no actual separate link to it. So right off the bat, you see the normal pools that don't do much, and then this part. So it, like user inter user, and then they have like 11 million links up here that I didn't even bother clicking because I don't even know what these things do. It, it it's just very annoying. So well, aside from that, this is clearly a pretty legit project they've been around for quite some time uh, they launched december 21st 2021 so i think if i remember the lore correctly they started off as really bad and then they made some kind of change and now it's much better and i honestly just don't really know what their what, what, what the uh what the point of this type of tomb fork is so it's got like a low APR, it's supposedly kind of stable, I guess, right? And currently it's pretty much below peg, right? It's right at the peg. So maybe if you want something stable, you could do something like this, right? It's got like 4.7 million TBL locked in, and there's already quite a bit of supply already. So, oh great, the website's not working now. So this could be a stable play. So if you're in the Tomb Fork, like actual Tomb Finance, you could maybe go in the Scarab. Uh, personally, you know, like the rewards are just too low. And if I want something stable, I want something like stable coin. So that's why I'm in PDO, right? You know, even though it's a relatively new project, it's holding its value very well. So, and it's actually still above pay. So in fact, it's slowly going up in value, I think. Which it should, because right now the dollar index is spiking out of control to the upside. Yeah, look at that. Like, this thing keeps going up the more, like, as time goes on, right? I just finished the Code 7 Finance uh, video. And I think at that point, I looked at it quickly. It was, like, plus 40 cents. Now it's plus 53 cents. This thing is going out of control, right? Because hyperinflation. Everyone's, uh, everyone right now is dumping their stocks to get dollars, but they're also dumping their bonds, right so right now cash is in demand and it's perfect right because that's what pdo is for that's why i want a stable coin farm so i'm pretty happy about that and what was that what else was i gonna say well, I, don't know, I lost my train of thought but a lot of crazy stuff going on cryptocurrencies are finally catching a bid kind of right you know bitcoin's trying to claw its way back towards 40k Phantom is still lagging behind because that's, you know, all this fear and FUD that's playing itself out. But it's already going back up a little bit. Now it's at $1.42. So whatever. It's looking pretty good. So, all right. So that's the thing. But, you know, despite its clearly bad user interface, like in terms of functionality, you know, it's... You know, it still is kind of legit. I mean, I'm not even going to bother clicking these because you're looking at 1% to 2% daily APRs. They have their own little auto compounders. There's like 11 million links up here. Like my camera's already covering like four links. I don't even know what they do. So it's, uh, and then they have, they have, the, I think this is probably the big thing about Scarab Finance. They have the Sin Spirit Boosted Auto Compounder. So if you buy like all these major 
cryptocurrencies, right? So they got Bomb, they got BiFi, they have a bunch of these other coins I've never heard of, right? You basically could just, basically this website is kind of like where you, this is kind of like a tomb, imagine if Yield Wolf was actually started out as a tomb fork and then they transitioned into becoming a auto compounder. I think that's basically what this is. That's what Scare Finance really is. So, I, so you know, I guess, I guess if you want to do a little bit of risky plays, you could try Scarab, G Scare LP. So, okay, so this is what we're really looking for. Well, at least this works. I don't know what Deus FTM is, but you could check that out. And again, this is another problem with the uh, user interface. The, mo the important high APR LPs are at like all over the place, but mostly at the bottom, right? You got the shitty APRs up top. It's supposed to be reverse. So yeah, they really need to fix this, uh, this really, this is really bad. And this should be in its own link and they gotta remove some of these other links. I, it's like, what's the desert? Why a swap, a liquid, well, why? Just put it on the front page. Okay, so you could get up to two. <sighs> This is just so annoying for me to really deal with. So I'm probably I'm just gonna leave it as one to two point one to two percent daily APR. I'm not even gonna bother linking directly to this. This is just so annoying. But again, I guess if you want something maybe stable, quote unquote, I mean you could just go into Scarab. But again, just go into Tomb Finance instead. And I'm pretty sure their website's a lot simpler to navigate. So here's your uh, boardroom. Uh, 3640 APR. Great. Now I have to manually calculate what the daily APR is on this. Scarab Finance, G Scarab. Let's try G Scarab here. Okay. Uh, one point. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. This doesn't matter because we're under peg, so it's not printing. Never mind. Okay. Right now, there is 8,658 shares staked into G Scarab. So you got about six. Then you gotta wait. You gotta, you're stuck in here for 36 hours. So right now, it's not uh, producing anything, unless unless it's set to produce Scarab tokens or stick Scarab coins below the uh, 1.0. So right now, the TWAP. Ugh, I can highlight this dumb crap. The TWAP right now is 0 0.9402. So if it's designed to print when the TWAP is above 0 0.9, for example, then this could be a pretty good play. And then that would also explain why there's still so many shares of the shares staked in here. There's 8,658. All right, I have to highlight it and then right click it so I get the tooltip. So we're talking about 66% of all shares are staked in the boardroom for some reason. So, but with that being said, I mean, still got a pretty healthy market cap. So, you know what? Maybe I should look at the documents. Let me get some answers here. Reject all cookies. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rewards, FAC. Okay. All right, there's the reward distribution. When does this print? Maybe this will tell us when it prints. Temple will not mint any Scarab tokens when the TWAP is below 1.01. .01. Okay, so the boardroom has a bunch of idiots in there for some reason, or people who don't care. That seems a little weird. Like your literal, your money's just literally wasting away doing nothing. Uh, okay. Well. All right. Well, I mean, there's not much to say, and I'm not going into this project like at all. Like, there's there's no benefit to me at all. But you know, I cover it. There's a lot of TVL in here. Maybe maybe there's something in here I might have missed, but I don't really see it. And of course, I'm gonna farm the SEO on this. But uh, yeah. But I'm happy with what overall what's happened with Phantom. Pretty much all the Phantom Tomb Forks are finally recovering. So, big chillin'. I'm enjoying the Yield Wolf DCA, Auto DCA. 
Oh, excuse me. I'm still pretty tired. Auto dip buying. And now, you know, I'm reaping massive rewards from that. Well, massive, relatively speaking. And yeah, it'll actually be nice to finally pull a very nice income from the Phantom blockchain, which will obviously supplement my AVAX income, which is right now what's carrying me. But, you know, AVAX is still kind of a little bit down under, but again, it'll recover as the Andre Kranje flood recovers. And then, you know, and then I'm going to move into Osmosis blockchain, right? Because now I'm in the Joe the Boomer, uh, their elite discord. So, you know, I got to do a video on that eventually. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I'm definitely done for the day. I'm, ta I'm totally taking tomorrow off. I mean, unless Kong Finance launches tomorrow, but I, I don't think that's launching until like at least two days from now. So let's see. What's next is Zoom, Exome Finance, but the when are their their farming pool's not even out yet, so I probably don't even cover them yet. Oh, I gotta switch. Yeah, that's not out for at least another two days. So they're still a pretty new website. But I think they're also kind of legit as well. I have to, yeah, because they already did like audits and stuff. So, but it's still a very new project. I mean, they're still in Genesis. So, uh, and then I got Sub Zero Plus Finance, right? Zombie and Kong Finance will be coming out any day now, at least in a couple days. Then after that, I've got Alpha Nodes. I mean, honestly, I just don't really care about Alpha Nodes, so I'm just gonna keep playing that back. Uh, at the very bottom, I have something called Stone Finance. I haven't heard anything about it. But it hasn't rug pulled, right? Because if it rug pulled, I probably would have heard about it. So that's uh, that's in the queue. And of course, I got the Osmosis Cosmos video. I gotta create a recreate a new stablecoin content. And of course, I got the, and then I'll also be the Joe the Boomer uh, exclusive video as well at the same time. So very very good, very very good. Yeah. All right. So. I might actually take the next two days off, which would make sense because I did videos back to back yesterday and today. So if I take tomorrow and Wednesday off, then all the new projects might, you know, finally be whatever. But that would mean I would have to do another back to back set of videos. So I kind of maybe don't want to do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll see you in at least two days. But I'm taking tomorrow off for sure. So then and then I might take. Uh, What's the day after that? Wednesday. So I might take Wednesday off as well. But we got a lot of launches to cover, you know, and let me see. And yeah, people might need an update on Zilla Finance too, which is Kong Finance. So I don't know. I think honestly, I'll just wait for Kong Finance to launch for that. All right, so check it out. Again, I don't really see anything too spectacular about this. And again, the the the. Like, why do they have three buttons for the... I mean, it looks nice, so that, that, that's good, but I mean, this is pretty kind of unnecessary. they got to really clean up the links. There's too many up there. And, like, the user, inter user interface usability of this website is absolutely horrible. It's, like, it, it's, it's really a mess. But aside from that, I mean, it, it still looks like it's a stable project and it's paying out, but I, I don't like doing low APR tune forks anymore. Like, there's just no point. So, I don't know. Check out Scarab Finance if it's your thing. And, um, yeah. I mean, but I'm good with what I got. You know, I got my high APRs. I got PDO, right? Partial, uh, PDO partial finance, right, for my stable coin farming. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Thanks. Like, subscribe, share, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm actually very excited about both Rare Finance and... Code 7 Finance, you know, crazy high APRs, looking pretty good. So let's just hope Code 7 is not actually a uh, scam project because you know, that's going to kind of suck, right? All right, see you in uh, two or three days.